Welcome, 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 welcome. Hola, hola, hola. Welcome to another episode of Mujer de Éxito, Unbounded Woman of Success Without Limits. My name is Marty Angel, and I am your host for this podcast. Mi nombre es Marty Angel, y soy su anfitriona aquí para este podcast. I just want to share with you that sometimes we speak English, sometimes we speak Spanish, and sometimes we speak Spanglish. And what this podcast is all about is about getting the story, the real story, the raw and real story from those women who have gone from survivor to thriver and hopefully inspires you to be able to see that you can do it too. As a business coach, I love taking the mujerpreneur, the bilingual mujerpreneur, gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up level from brick and mortar to click and order and rock their six figure biz. Gracias por estar aquí. Let's get to it. Vamos. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Today we are talking about the fact that you have decided to venture out and create a side business, maybe a side hustle. Ahora vamos a, vamos a platicar, vamos a platicar que has decidido crear un negocio separado de tu trabajo. Welcome everybody. My name is Marty Angel and I am the Empowering Latina Coach also a Latina biz coach. And I love and I am so passionate about helping the mujerpreneur, the Latina bilingual woman entrepreneur gain clarity and focus on who they serve so that they can up level from brick and mortar to click and order and begin to rock their six figure biz. Now let's talk a little bit about today's topic. Today's topic is that you've decided to venture out and create a side business. And the question begets, what in the world, what in the world am I doing? You know, what am I, what am I going to be doing? So you create a side business. You've decided to venture out and create this side business. And hopefully you did it because you want to begin to invest in your future by creating an income that is apart, separate from, separado, from your main source of income, which is your job, possibly your job. I know that for many of us Latina entrepreneurs, mujerpreneurs, women of culture entrepreneurs, that's how we start. We start to create an income apart from our job. So you're there. And now you're saying, okay, now what? And perhaps now the fear is setting in. Perhaps now the dread is setting in, right? As a Latina biz coach, the most often question I get is, how do I succeed as a small business entrepreneur, micro biz entrepreneur, or how do I succeed as a mujerpreneur, or how do I succeed as an entrepreneur being a woman, right? So that's the one question I get asked a lot. And here's what I want to share with you. So as I share with you this information, I hope you take it to heart and share it with somebody else that can also benefit from knowing and learning this. So today I want to take this time to answer this question briefly. And then if you like, 
you, you know, if you like what you hear today and you like the information I shared, then I'm going to invite you to stick, stick with me till the end so that you can get your freebie. All right. So let's talk about it. How, how you can avoid many of the stresses of growing your business venture by taking your time and planning out all the necessary steps you need to achieve success. So it's really important, first of all, that you understand that there is a difference between a micro bizpreneur and a small business owner. Very different. A micro biz owner is very different than a small business owner. And in order to achieve success, you need to know, you truly need to know what you are. But whatever type of business you want to start or you've started, all you need is planning and forethought. Let's say maybe perhaps, I don't know, maybe you started a network marketing business. Maybe you started an online membership. Maybe you got your digital courses. Maybe you have digital products like, like the digital journals that I have or the, you know, planners and things like that. Or maybe you have an online coaching or want to start online coaching, or maybe you're a content creator. Maybe you're an e-commerce person. Maybe you're an affiliate marketer. Maybe you're a virtual assistant. Whatever it is, whatever it is, today's episode is all about helping you move forward. All right. Now, en español, has decidido aventarte y crear un negocio secundario para poder comenzar a invertir en tu futuro mediante la creación de un ingreso aparte de tu fuerte principio, tu trabajo. Como Latina Biz Coach, la pregunta que siempre me hacen con más frecuencia es ¿Cómo puedo tener éxito siendo, siendo una microempresaria? O también me preguntan ¿Cómo puedo tener éxito como mujer emprendedora? Bueno, hoy quiero tomarme un poco de tiempo, no mucho, para responder brevemente a esta pregunta. Entonces, si te gusta esto, te invito que hayas, que vayas al enlace al terminar de esto y obtengas tu reporte, ¿verdad? All right, so let's talk a little bit more about what is really this thing that we really want to do and create this, this child, because that's what it is. It's like a child. It's so incredibly important for you to understand that, you know, it's really critical to your success that we begin by planning, right? What we want to do is we want to plan and make sure that that plan unfolds and comes into fruition. It's critically important that we do this. Because if you just start nilly willy, then what happens is I promise burnout is going to happen because you weren't really taking it. You weren't really, really taking it as a business. Perhaps you started this side hustle to see if it would work. Well, let me tell you a little bit about that. When you start something just to see if it's going to work or not, I guarantee you it's not going to work. Because you've got to make sure that when you start something, you're going to see it through and make things happen and you're prepared. So in a sense, it's sort of like, you know, are you really ready to be a mother and have a baby? You know, there's planning that goes into it. So to succeed in business, my friends, mujeres, amigas, chicas, You need to be flexible and have good planning and organizational skills. 
And if you don't have that, then my suggestion is collaborate with somebody who is going to match your energy and your or exceed your energy so that you can have that collaborative effect, that collaborative effect of success in your planning and organizational skills. You would be surprised how many people I see start a business that they're that they think they're just going to turn on their computers or sign that dotted line, open their doors and start making money. Truly, people really believe that. I have a friend, a very close friend who retired from her J-O-B and decided she wanted to open up ice cream shop. So she didn't know how to make her ice cream. So she did, you know, a franchise. And immediately after that franchise got open, she was like, well, I'm not making any money. And I said to her, well, if you, if you actually thought you were going to make money in the first five years, my friend, you truly need me as a business coach. (laughs) And she was like, yeah, I really did. And it's so critically important that we understand that the moment that you sign that dotted line, the moment that you open your doors, if you don't know what you're getting into, you're going to find that making money in a business is much more difficult, convoluted, um, you know, roundabout than they, than you thought and way more intricate. Why? Especially now in the age of online marketing, you need to know how to be offline as well as online. There's no way that you're going to be able to make it just offline. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say that because there are people that are making it, but yes, There's people. So here's what needs to happen for you. You need to collaborate with somebody. If you're that offline person that just says, I'm just not going to do it online. You need to find a strong collaborator who's going to match your energy or, or exceed your energy and together work side by side and say, hey, I'm going to do all the offline marketing and you're going to do all the online marketing and together we're going to make that income grow. So you need to understand that collaboration is a key to success. It's no longer an option. You need to realize that it is the key to success. You also need to understand the difference between a micro biz and a small biz, you would be surprised how many people don't know the difference. So big deal, Marty, why? Why do I need to know the difference? Why? Because when you're ready to apply for your startup loan, or you want to look for the correct type of lender that knows your pains and that knows that you need inventory, but not a whole lot of inventory. And that knows that maybe you're a solopreneur and that your next step up is to be, you know, a duopreneur, a collaborator. You need to know how to walk up to that lender and say, I am a small business owner or I am a micro business owner. So now you ask me, What is the difference, Marty? What's the difference between a micro business and a small business owner? Well, let me share. A micro business is also known as a micro company or a micro enterprise or a micro entrepreneur. It is the newest trend in the entrepreneurial world. Before everybody was, you know, lumped together and, and we found out that being a small business is not the same because, and, and so being a micro biz owner, because the term is so new, it's vaguely defined, but let me give you a definition of what I know a micro business is. It is a small business that operates with one to five employees and requires less than $50,000 to start the company. So 
If you're a network marketer, if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're a virtual assistant, all of those are micro biz owners because it's required less than $50,000 to start your company. And more than likely, you have started that company with one to five employees or one to five associates or one to five, you know, customers. Actually, it's not customers, one to five employees, collaborators, team members, whatever it is, right? So it's important that you know if you're a micro biz owner or a small business owner. Let me repeat that. A micro biz is a small business that operates with one to five employees and requires less than $50,000 to start the company. More than likely, these businesses are owned and operated by one person. And right now, they are especially popular among the Latina entrepreneurs. Why? Because the startup cost is so small that it makes it easy for you to begin to work on your side hustle. So five to 10 years from now, you have that residual income coming in. That's really, really important. So when you begin to work with somebody, you want to make sure that they understand that too. Now you understand it. So I want you to take this definition, turn it around and say, am I a micro biz owner or am I truly a small business owner? And share it with maybe one of your team members, share the information information is meant to be shared. And so according to the National Women's Business Council, micro businesses account for 97% of all businesses in the United States, and they generate over a trillion dollars in revenue. That's an amazing amount of contribution that we make as, you know, as small, as a uh, micro bizpreneurs, as Latina entrepreneurs, as mujer entrepreneurs, right? Women of culture are the single handedly most important entrepreneurial base and it's growing in size. So despite your importance, however, your business is you are going to be a, you're going to be facing unique challenges when it comes to accessing capital, when it comes to networking, when it comes to finding a coach, when it comes to, you know, finding a coach that's, that understands your industry, that understands your products, that understands your services. Because when you're a micro bizpreneur, you're started out and you're kind of like all over the place because you are the marketing person, you are the product person, you are the HR person, you are the um, customer service person, you're, you're everything and everything's, you've got a whole bunch of balls in the air. But when you know that and you're ready to ask for a loan or ask for guidance, It's really important that you understand that. Let me give you an example why. For instance, if you came to me, I'm the Latina biz coach. I'm a micro bizpreneur. I'm a micro biz coach. Yes, I can coach small businesses. I've done that before. I was in the medical field. I was coaching dentists and and doctors on how to run their offices smoothly and in an organized fashion so they could bring in more customers. But I'm not doing that anymore. I am strictly working with a micro bizpreneur, mujer latina, bilingual, woman of culture, woman entrepreneur, who's ready, who's been making that five-figure income and who's ready to rock and roll to six figures. 
So I know the difference. So if somebody comes to me and they've got 50, 60 employees and they want me to help them, I usually turn them over to a small business coach because I am, and I, and I really want to, um, stress that I am all about that personal touch. So I like to work with the micro bizpreneur and I generally know their products and their services because I've been there. I'm not too far away from most of you. So as a micro bizpreneur, I want to share with you that fortunately there are really truly quite a number of resources available to help you grow and succeed. But once again, you need to know that it is a micro biz or a small biz. Now let's get started with a little bit of information about Latina entrepreneurs. If you don't have a Latina on your team, baby, you better find one. Porque somos un, somos chingonas y Como dice otra persona, somos fregonas. We are passionate, we are focused, we are determined, we are driven, and baby, we want to see that success. So if you don't have that Latina, you know, partner or collaborator or coach, go find one. It's kind of like, don't you like Mexican food or, you know, or, or, you know, Latin food with all the salsa and everything. So we bring color to the experience, right? So Latina entrepreneurs, let me just touch a little bit about that. Latina entrepreneurs are the backbone of the American economy. And I bet you didn't know that because I bet you that there aren't a lot of media sources out there talking to us about that. But Latina entrepreneurs, they start their business with much more ganas, much more focus, and with less money, fewer employees, and greater hurdles to overcome, but they do it anyway. They're that kind of person that when somebody says, no puedes, you can't, they're like, Oh yeah? Watch me, baby. Porque aquí voy. Quítate porque aquí voy. That means get out of my way because here I come. Right? So according to a, a report from the National Women's Business Council, the NWBC, Latina-owned businesses, my friend, mujeres, amigas, chicas, are the fastest growing segment of women-owned business in the market today. Today in 2022. And you know what? There are several reasons for this growth. First, there is a growing population of Latinas in the United States. Now, right now, in 2022, now over 53 million strong Andale, como decía mi papá, andale, right? Second, Latinas are starting businesses at higher rates than any other group of female entrepreneurs, right? And that's important. Sumamente importante que entiendas todo lo que estoy diciendo. Y si tienes preguntas, por favor, déjame un mensaje. Finally, but totally not lastly. Many Latina-owned micro-businesses are in high-growth industries such as technology, healthcare, health and wellness, and professional services. I know for a fact, now here comes a story, I know for a fact that for me, I want a virtual assistant that's bilingual because I service the Latina bilingual, you know, entrepreneur, mujerpreneur, and I service the English ones as well. So learning and and speaking in both languages is critically important. So what does that mean for small business owners? It means that they're small business owners that are out there that are servicing us, the micro biz owner, means that there is an ever-growing market for goods and services that are provided by 
other Latina owned businesses. You see, as a Latina owned business, what we do is we tend to, to kind of canvas the area, scope things out and buy support and buy from other Latina owned businesses. We get coached by other Latina owned businesses. So it's really important that we continue to stick together, collaborate and work together to create the success that we all know we can have. Women of culture, BIPOC women, we stick together. We're all together, right? I, I have a friend who, uh, you know, she was, she was too afraid to start her, you know, entrepreneurial road journey or whatever. And so she came to me the other day, um, you know, on a text and said, Hey, you're still working on your businesses. And I said, absolutely. She says, I just got fired from my job again, and now I don't have anything. And that hits me right where it counts. Me pega en el corazón y digo, Diosito de mi vida, como me duele. Because I was there. I was right there. I had all my eggs in one basket and all of a sudden, you know, in this turn of events, that basket was taken out from me. I went from six figures to zero figures overnight. So I want that to truly hit home with you. I really want you to understand that I understand you and I am here to coach you. I really, truly want to hit home with this message. So please know that you have homework of, as a lifelong educator, you have homework. You have to decide and figure out whether you're a micro biz owner or a small business owner. Recuerden, mujeres. Mujeres emprendedoras, como propietarias de sus microempresas, latinas somos una fuerza impulsora en la economía de los Estados Unidos. Y, amigas, chicas, somos esenciales para el crecimiento y el éxito de las pequeñas empresas en todo el país. Mujeres, me están escuchando, chicas, somos un poderoso ejemplo del sueño americano en acción y representamos lo mejor de nuestro país y lo que tiene que ofrecer. Necesitamos hacer todo lo posible para apoyarnos a, mutuamente como mujeres emprendedoras, empresarias, mujerpreneurs, porque somos la columna vertebral de nuestra economía y nosotras somos cruciales para el éxito futuro de la economía empresar empresarial. Say what? <laughs> say what, Marty? Could you like say it in English, whatever you said? Sure. Here it goes. Here's what I want you to remember. Mujerpreneurs, bilingual, women of culture, Latina micro biz owners, you, I want you to understand that you are a driving force in the United States economy and that you, mujer, you, amiga, you, chica, you, chula, are essential to the growth and the success of small businesses nationwide. Latinas are a powerful example of the American dream in action. And they, my friends, represent the best of what our country has to offer, along with our sisters who are multicultural as well. We need to do everything we can to support each other as mujerpreneurs, women of culture, women entrepreneurs, because we are the backbone of our economy and we are crucial to the future success of the business economy. There, I said it in English and in Spanish. And yes, that's my soapbox and I am okay with that. My friends, amigas, if you like this video, 
Remember to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss a Mondays with Marty. And as I give you always on Mondays, I give you tips to rock your biz and live your best life. And if you are listening to this on the podcast, the Mujer de Éxito Unbounded Bilingual Podcast, please remember to like, download, and to follow. And as always, I have a gift for you. So after this video is over and I, you know, fix it all up, I'm going to drop the link right below here so that you can get your free report on the 10 secret ways that you need to know and employ to grow your business in a more focused, driven, and fun fashion. So remember, subscribe and hit that little bell so that every time I go live, you're going to get that notification. As always, this is your Latina biz coach, Marti Angel, reminding you that I am so incredibly grateful and happy that you are listening to this or watching this. Reminder to find the link below to grab your freebie report that will give you more valuable tips to grow your biz and get more sales. Amigas, my friends, chulas, Yours in health and wealth, this is Marti Angel saying hasta luego, namaste. Have a great one. This episode brought to you by Celebive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. The Celebive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask locks in intense moisture to perfectly prime your skin for restful sleep. Apply this relaxing hydration serum several times a week to pamper yourself and radiate your healthier looking complexion. Sheet masking is all the rage right now. Make it a regular part of your healthy skincare regimen today. Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. Click the link below and get yours today.